Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 2 here on the Game Professor channel. I am your host, the Game Professor, and last time we just took care of... I'll just go back to our conspirators. We have taken care of um, Antonio Maffei, Francesco Salviati, Stefano D'Abagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. We just finished off with Bernardo just now. So what we need to do now is get to Jacopo to Pazzi. And we know that there is a Templar meeting that is going to happen. So that's what we are going to be going toward. But first, I want to reduce my notoriety. I see a couple of spots for thingers, posters. So we'll do that since it's free. I'd rather not have to spend money if we don't have to. Let's take a look at our map. Whoops. I always do that. Um, we have a viewpoint right there, I believe. We have a viewpoint there. We have a codex page. We do have another assassin tomb that we can go to. And we have our memory start. I think what I'm going to do today, though, is I'm going to focus, before we start the memory, on getting the viewpoints, maybe going after the codex pages. Um, I'm not going to go for the Assassin's Tomb just yet, um, but we'll probably also look at getting some feathers while we're at it. And speaking of that... Make sure I have my maps. Because, um, yeah, there are a lot of feathers that we're going to be able to get. So, just be ready for that. Um, but, let's start off. Let's get this viewpoint that we're right next to, since we're literally right next to it. Um... And the big thing with this whole set of assassinations is this, this dual element of the, the Templar versus assassin conflict. Oh, be quiet. You're not going to see me in just a second. Oh, come on, really? That was dumb, Ezio. There was definitely something for you to grab there. Um, but, like I was saying, the uh, there's a dual element of the, the familial uh, hatred and um, and just familial uh, conflict between whether it is really really dude is oh boy that's irritating yeah why did it do that I have no idea why it did that that was weird but the um you you kind of you have two bits of familial conflict one in the auditore and the pazzi the other being the medici and the pazzi um and it's very intriguing on that front but then you also have the actual assassin templar conflict that you're dealing with and that's kind of that's one of the things that i really like about Ezio in general as a character is he just really toes this line between the 
the familial focus, the um, the young, vengeful youth um, who's trying to bring honor back to the family name, essentially. And then there's the... Oh, shush. There we are. That's what you get. Oh, I really didn't want to do that. But okay. Okay. I guess I can deal with that. Oh, he fell. Well, I'll loot him. I'll still loot him. But this... This learning that Ezio goes through, because he has to go from this focus. Let's see here. Which building is this? Okay. We might be able to get that glyph while we're at it as well. Gonna be trying to avoid the memory start. That's the important thing right now. Um... But the that there's a there's an inherent conflict in that learning process for Ezio though, which is really interesting because he's just so focused for so long on the the element of clearing the family name, of bringing honor back to the family, all this stuff. And it's, it can really go against his ability to be an effective assassin. And there will be some commentary on that later on in the game, if I remember correctly, when um, Machiavelli is introduced as a character. Because yes, Machiavelli <laughs> is an assassin within this world and kind of fitting when you think of it i i've still never actually read the prince i need to oh well we found our glyph wonderful let's take care of that three thefts hidden by the murders people only see what they're trained to see what the organization wants them to see Okay. Hat trick. They made it look like an accident. Houdini and Bess. Well. There we are. Just want to make sure there isn't anything else. As I've said, there are often a lot of hidden messages, so it's always good to look for them. Houdini's grave. Rest in peace, October 31st. And I, of course, missed the rest of the date. Alright, there's his. They almost beat him. And they're definitely keeping things uh, kind of heart related. Dallas Archive. Access file. All right. The wolves are out hunting. Where, where has Jack gone? Ugh. God, that part always creeps me out. But uh, this is actually a a very simple sort of puzzle that you have to do with these. There's always a clue in what you see going around that tells you what the the code is. So here we have six equals one. So just have to do that and then either way we do it it works so eight is three six is one seven is two there we are dallas texas operation new frontier hq has given the go-ahead to extract the resource negotiations are over F is planning to give the vote to everyone. Reason just doesn't work with someone like that. I'll send you the driver. We've trained him with PE2 in our labs. He shouldn't be any trouble. The motorcade... 
Ah, oh, that was smooth of me. You're supposed to breathe, not swallow spit. <laughs> the motorcade route is marked below. Once the target has been downed, either by Oswald or Z, use PE1 to stage a distraction. Make some kind of phantom appear around the slope I've marked with an X. Freak people out. The driver will grab PE3 in the confusion. So, this is obviously talking about the assassination of JFK. So, very interesting. And like I've said already, we really get into a lot of elements of conspiracy theory with this whole Templars taking over the world concept. And... It is a little absurd, but I also really do like it. But this will be our last viewpoint for San Gimignano. And I do just want to take a quick little look around, see if I can spot any feathers easily. That looks like an assassination contract. That's a hiding spot. There's a feather over there. Well, might as well go after that feather at the very least. And I apologize that I'm kind of quiet today, everybody. It's, um... I had a late night after trying streaming yesterday and I oh. I'm losing him oh let's do this oh that nope you're just gonna run away all right I'm cool with that I don't mind you running away from me but our feather should be right up there. So we can do a little flip around. I think I can actually hear the jingle jangle from it. Come on, Ezio. Come on, Ezio. I know that you can do that. Really? Ugh. I really hate it when Ezio does stupid climbing things like that. It's like, dude, I know that you can get around this. Let's see, maybe if we do this? There we go. Yeah. Really? Oh my word. Well so much for this. This is proving to be a bit of a nightmare. I apologize, guys. Oh, we have another glyph here as well. That's what I've been hearing jingle jangle. So, another glyph. Fabulous. Something was up there. Something abandoned long ago. Mmm, Apollo. So this will be about the moon landing. All right. There we are. Find the eagle. So this is going to be the lander. We're getting closer. There it is. Just want to check for any other messages. Okay. Truly have no idea what that is. Very interesting, though. I, I really do love the use of these hidden messages and such in all these. So there's our lander. What's happening with the lander? All right. With these formidable weapons, the adversaries of freedom plan to consolidate their territory territory to exploit, to control, and to finally destroy. Alright. 
so let's see here there we go of course um anything else to get just that one to move okay go oh man this is very telling of how tired I am because I'm I'm really struggling to get my head wrapped around this right now in a way that I really rarely have trouble with so this is fun there we are um There we are. That's the only way I can move that one. So, have to do it like that. Then I think, yeah, this is the only one that's out of alignment now. There we go. Wow. On the struggle bus today, guys. On the struggle bus. <laughs> I apologize. I always forgot how eerily quiet this particular one was. Apollo 11 phot photograph released to the pu to the public. All right. There's our little Templar flag. There. There's Abstergo. So where is the apple? Million dollar question. Let's see, I'm doing a, not a great job of tracking the, unless, there we are. With Jack deep underground, it was easy. Mm. All right, new passcode. And I apologize. I'm getting a ton of texts right now. Alright, let's do this. Now I can go after that dang feather. Stupid feather. I don't think a feather has ever been this annoying to me. <laughs> At least it is a relatively easy one to get, comparatively. There we are. And just to verify where where we are. Wonderful. And there's one more that should be right over here by this tailor. So we'll go for that one. Go for that one, then we'll get the codex page that's over there. Then we'll go to the story mission. Because I do want to end the episode with uh, the taking care of Jacopo. Because, no, I really haven't been as wild as that may seem. I believe it's going to be up here somewhere. Just try to 
keep a general upward view. Come on. There we go. Well, I don't think that's going to work. Just going to hazard a guess. I should be able... I am fairly certain I haven't gotten this feather at any rate. Oh, I hear a jingle jangle. Where's the jingle jangle? I definitely hear it. Maybe it's right up top. Oh, yep, there we are. It's gonna make me find something else to help climb up. So annoying. I will eventually have the jump ab ability with the climbing, so like the the jump upward, which is hugely useful in this game. That's one of the big elements with the free running in this game in particular that makes it so good. Let's see, where is a nearby thing? And by that I mean a... Really? I really just lost two of them. Alright, you know what to do. I... Oh wait, no, I... Okay, I didn't lose them all. Alright, go away. You're annoying. Oh, you're kidding me. Really? Were they not sufficiently distracted? That's stupid. That's really stupid. Ah, oh, my word. That's just irritating. All right. Let's find ourselves a poster, though. Probably going to be up there. So we will go for that. Am I right? Of course not. That'd be too practical. It's going to be up here or something. There we are. Very bright, my goodness. Alright. At least it's very bright for me. I think the saturation's a little bit different <laughs> in the final product. But that is a good point. Well, actually, there is one more codex page here. I'm going to get this codex page as well, then we'll go on to the memory. I realize this has been a very housekeeping-y episode so far, and I apologize for that, but I do really value taking the time to get all this taken care of. Um, let's see. Hopefully. Whoops. There! Don't let them get away! Come on. Oh, really? Come on. I timed that well. Really? Why are you being so rude? Wow. Alright. We are going... I wasn't actually going for a disarm there, but it's okay. Not the end of the world. But we have some courtesans here, so we will use them, and hopefully I won't have a bard who ruins everything again. I swear, the number of times that I have 
bards or beggars ruin something that I'm trying to do in these games is ridiculous. There we are. So easy. I swear. Like, it's the most, one of the most basic little bits of interaction that you can do. And it's so easy to not screw it up. And then something as simple as a minstrel gets in the way and it ruins everything. It's absolutely ridiculous. But let's get ourselves back up top and we will get ourselves to the memory start. And what we're going to be doing actually is following Jacopo to the meeting site. So we know that there's this Templar meeting occurring. We know that uh, several of the people that we killed were not going to go to it out of fear. But we will do this. With friends like these, tail Jacopo de Pazzi to the Templar meeting, then assassinate him. So that is what we will do. All right, so first we have to le locate him. Should be relatively easy. There it is. Long enough to follow him. He'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my list. That you will, Ezio. That you will. All right. And this is actually a relatively difficult tail mission, if I remember correctly. Because you have to ideally stay up high, and it's a little hard to stay up high from that starting point. Um. What's going on here? Are they late? Hmm. See me this much I know. There he's continuing. I really don't need you. No, please! I am a friend! Wow, buddy. Wow. Come on. I just wanna go up top. Just wanna go up top. Oh. Oh man. You're kidding me. There we go. And having the throwing knives to be able to dispatch the various Borgia guards as they crop up on the roofs is highly useful. He's going to come back into view right about now. There he is. And that's the key with these is he just has to come into view at some point within that countdown and you won't lose him. Which I appreciate. I think that it's a fairly realistic way to approach the process of tailing someone, honestly. What are you and the others planning, Jacobo? Oh. Let's see if I can get this feather while still tailing him. Really, Ezio? Really? I don't think I can, but I'm gonna try. It's because I'm facing the other way. I'm gonna try. We'll see. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Well, actually, you know what? Oh, nope. I'm getting too far away. Shoot. If I had started off earlier, getting into the right spot, I probably could have done it. 
All right. So now we just have to get to the outer wall. And we'll be able to see him again. There he is. And this is also a really... Your letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well? <laughs> you sound so surprised, Ezio. I really don't think you should be. But this is a, a really fun mission in terms of thinking of it as a moment of learning for Ezio about patience, specifically. Um really thus far even the other conspirators that you've gone after they've really been exercises in haste and swift action whereas this one you really need to be patient and think about okay what's going to happen what are the what are the implications and ramifications of what could possibly be happening by going to this meeting what do we what will we learn what will we risk revealing about ourselves all of this stuff it's very interesting it's actually one of my favorite little missions and we get a nice little spot here and we also have a glyph in here as well well shoot that's irritating I guess I should have waited for them to get into some sort of spot <laughs> oh boy all right so we're back here not too far behind I'm perfectly fine with this, honestly. I do like waiting for him to get past me, though, because it doesn't make sense for Ezio to get ahead. Well, there's a fun little camera glitch. Does not like being by that uh, lamp. Lantern. That uh, more of a lantern, I suppose. Here, I think it's okay to get up to the high point, even though it does feel somewhat likely that either Jacopo or one of the other guards would notice us at this point. So, interesting. You can see people down there, though, and I'm pretty sure you can see the form of Rodrigo Borgia pretty easily, which I love. I love that detail. There we are. How many men are responsible for my father's death? There we go. Yep, we definitely could see Borgia oh, from a distance. Slay, maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. Else the authors would be here with you. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. Mm -hmm. You don't want to talk, Signor Barbarigo. Had you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament? We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I do. 
Ooh. Well, all right. Please. Don't. <laughs> Please don't what? Well. That is telling about their I can approach this. to everything. Spare me. No. Woof. What a mess. Hmm. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Well, crap. All right. Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to the... Ah! Yeah. That, I, 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 I was actually being honest. There we go. I do have some smoke bombs. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Shoot. I very specifically wanted to get the guys with the pole arms and the brute. Oh boy. Alright, let's do. Let's do the regular sword. Oh boy. This is part of the trouble. Come on! Come on. This is why I'm kicking myself for getting that second, um... Come on. There we go. Alright. You have to be so precise with the counters on those guys. But let's take care of Jacopo. Put him out of his misery. There we go. Vai amico. Libero da fardelli e paure. Requiesca di pace. We got you, Jacopo. We got you. All right. So, that is taken care of. So, we're through with sequence five now. So, really powering our way through. Oh, you can see the glyph over there, actually. <laughs> I just noticed that. So, uh, let's see where this puts us. But we will do, we will be ending the episode here, everybody. Um, I apologize for it being a bit long. I, uh, like I said, I uh, had a bit of a late night after doing the stream yesterday, uh, the streams for Stardew Valley yesterday, and just very tired from that. Brain is a little foggy. So now we're in 1480. Time is flying. Um, but let's see where this places us, what we're about to hit. But while everything's loading, thank you so much for watching everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll always know when I have new videos coming out and follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so that you can join the conversation. But until next time everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I will see you then.